So what's up guys, Sam here and I am back this time with an updated edition of how to get iOS on your Android. Now it's been over a year since I first released the original how to make Android look and feel like iOS series and on top of the fact that part one was and still is my most watched video across this entire channel, it was actually those series of videos that kickstarted this channel into what it's become today. So if you've watched that video within the past few months then you'll no doubt have noticed that 80% of the apps and links used in the video are now in fact dead and it does seem to be a little bit of a pattern. So the apps appear on the Play Store, then they get removed for copyright reasons, then they come back on, then removed again, and the process goes on and on. Anyway, I recently found the APKs after doing a little bit of a Google search, and so I thought it was about time that I update this video. And for those typing into the comments, why would you do this to your Android phone? Well, I actually found using the iPhone setup on my Android for a month or two really helpful in transitioning from the iOS iPhone world. Now, after some time, after I was used to the Android interface and whatnot, I was able to switch to using Nova Launcher and as time has gone on, I've come to love Android, but it was great knowing I had a way to ease into Android. So there, that's why. Okay, so I'm not gonna go nearly as in depth as my previous videos on how to do this, simply because there is no reason to. So to start off, you'll wanna download the iLauncher and iNodi APKs from the description below and try to do this on your smartphone so it will save you some steps here. But once you do, you then need to ensure you head into the security settings on your device and enable the option to allow installation from unknown sources. Once you've done that, head into your file manager and locate the iLauncher APK and install it. After it's installed, tap open, or if it doesn't open automatically, then go ahead and find it in your apps list and open it up, and you'll be greeted with a home screen that looks similar to mine, and more importantly, quite similar to iOS. Now, you could honestly leave things here if you wanted to. You do get a lot of similar functionality to iOS as it is straight out of the box. So if we swipe down on the home screen, we get a search menu, which will bring up any applications or contacts and even a link to search the web. And folders also look incredibly similar and we even get that little wiggle animation when we long press an app. As well as that, when we have long pressed an app, we can also tap on them and change these icons and app names and so forth so that if your icons aren't exactly how you want them, all you have to do is Google search the icon you want. So for example, iMessage app icon and then download the image and then tap the app icon you want to change, click on change icon and locate the image you downloaded and boom, it does all the magic for you. Now, I'm not going to show you me changing every single app icon so that it exactly matches iOS, but I will include a link in the description below to where you can download some of the more common iOS app icons. So if you want to go through and change it, then that's there for you. Now, on top of that, we're going to go back into our downloads and install the other APK we downloaded called iNodi. Once we've installed it, we need to head into the app and enable it. So once you've opened iNodi, tap on enable iNodi and then tap on accessibility. And depending on the phone you're using, you just need to find iNodi and switch it to on. Once you've done that, hit back and we now need to turn on the notification access. So tap on notification and switch iNodi on. And then you should hopefully see your status bar change. So now if we come back to our home screen, you can see the status bar icons have all changed and to the untrained eye, you'd be forgiven for thinking you now owned an iPhone. So not only does it change your status bar, but it also gives you the notification center drop down functionality of iOS. So if we swipe down from the top, we're greeted with the usual date and calendar information and swiping over to the left brings up any unread notifications and tapping on these will open up the corresponding application. So from there, we're gonna download a keyboard application that more closely resembles iOS, and that's called Emoji Keyboard 7, which is free on the Google Play Store. And as you can see here, it does have more of an iOS keyboard look to it, but in all honesty, this is usually the first feature to go for me, and I always now use Google's own keyboard application. From there, we've got a couple of bonus apps that again, you may enjoy for a day or two, but will probably find yourself switching off and enjoying the native Android versions. So because we've got iNodi running, we do lose our access to the quick settings and toggles that are normally found in the notification shade. So to bring back that functionality and to give ourselves an even greater iOS feeling, we're gonna download an application called iPanel, which again is free on the Google Play Store. Once you download and open this app, you'll quickly notice that this replicates fairly closely the control center from iOS. As you can see, it has more of an iOS 7 look to it and it's not quite as fluid as iOS 9, obviously, but it functions very much the same. You have your quick toggles up here, which are actually paginated, so you can have more than four controls, which is cool. And you have your app shortcuts down the bottom. And then as you can see, there's a brightness slider, which is a little bit glitchy. And you also have your music controls as well, which again, are also a little bit glitchy. 
After that, we have a very gimmicky app that I guess you could say brings an iOS look to your dialer. So this one is free from the Play Store and it's called OS9 Full Screen Caller Dialer. And it's by far the best iOS looking dialer application that I've come across. And for a second, it almost appears to even replace the caller screen, which is cool, but eventually it does return to the Android app. So it's not super reliable. There are a bunch of settings you can play with as well, but that's there if you want to grab it. Now, if you really want to get your lock screen resembling a little more like iOS, then so far the best that I've found, and I'm telling you, I've looked into the depths of the Play Store and even APKs on Google, and this one is okay, but it's probably the best and it's called, would you believe it, iPhone lock screen. Now, I think this app has been put onto the Play Store under a bunch of different developers, probably because it keeps getting removed, but I'll try and include relevant links below. So I know the time doesn't look exactly right and there's a definite delay when locking and waking up your device, but honestly, you'll struggle to find any lock screen that really replicates the iOS one. This one has its own pretty cool control center as well, but I honestly have no idea why app developers have never been able to, at the very least, replicate the slide to unlock shine animation thingy. It's never looked good on any iOS lock screen replica and I reckon it's always what makes these lock screens a dead giveaway that they're fake. Anyway, finally, I have a message replacement application called Or SMS, and this isn't so much about the messaging app, which in and of itself seems to be a great messaging application, but this is more associated with the inline quick replies feature, which very much has an iOS feel to it. Download it below and check it out yourself. Anyway, there you have it. Something kind of resembling iOS for your Android smartphones. Now, obviously this isn't gonna be anywhere near as fast or reliable as iOS or even stock Android. And the fact that the core apps to get this to work aren't available from the Play Store, which therefore means the developer isn't updating them anytime soon, certainly won't help the situation out. But like I said at the start, this at least gives an option to those who have been heavily invested in the iOS world to ease their transition to the Android ecosystem. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you have any other app suggestions to help those looking to make their phone even more like iOS, please put them in the comments below. But until the next video, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.